Hello, love. Sorry, um, I didn't think you were back till tonight. The conference finished yesterday. Hotel was grim. Pokey room. Dodgy Wi-Fi. Thought I'd come home early. Was Amy all right? Yeah, fine. Hasn't run off with anyone. Didn't turn the house into a rave venue. I don't think kids call them raves anymore. How was your hotel? How was your weekend? Lovely. Perfect. Good. I'm just gonna go and have a shower. You reckon you could go into space alone? Yes, please. I don't... I'd be remembered forever as a hero, a, a Martian hero. And then the bedroom. It's the hotel booking. You can chuck it. You and Emma had a double room. Yeah, we did. Not just any double room, a suite. Well, Emma booked it and they offered to upgrade us. They even gave us a fruit basket and a bottle of wine. Why did you feel the need to share? Well, you know what single hotel rooms are like. Tiny, no view, you get the worst of everything. So we thought, why not share one really nice room instead of two rubbish ones? So you shared a double bed? King size, actually. We wanted to raid the minibar and talk late into the night. Right, so it was a slumber party. Yes, basically. You and Emma seem to have gotten very close. Yeah. I suppose we have. I've missed having a really good female friend. You know, since Sarah moved to Australia. I'd love to get to know her properly. Well, you shall. Let's have her over for dinner. OK. Good idea. I'm doing a wash. Have you got anything? I'm going to cook tonight. I'm going to make tagine, your favourite. I found this. Where do you get it? Laundry party? Actually, I bought it online. What about it? Anyone would have thought you are having an affair. Well, they'd be wrong. I went away for the weekend with Emma. What on earth makes you... The look you... on your face when you came in this morning. You didn't go away with Emma. You don't book a luxury suite and buy stuff like that for a girly weekend. You might. No. You're having an affair with another man. Tell me the truth. I am not having an affair with another man. You say you found it. How did you find it? I was doing the laundry. It was in your bag. Can you listen to yourself? Do you know how paranoid you sound? Something is up with you. Something's different. You don't buy underwear like that. Sexy underwear, you mean? You don't have to dress up to turn me on. Actually, it was Emma's idea. How? Since the cancer, I have felt very differently about my body. Now, I pretend I'm fine, but inside, I feel broken. I thought I was never going to feel sexy again. And Emma's helped me, given me back my confidence. And that's why I bought it, to help me get my mojo back. Look. I know I have pushed you away. It wasn't you. I felt it. I thought, if I could just feel better about myself, then it wouldn't just help me. It would help us. Oh, I'm sorry. I genuinely thought. Oh, it doesn't matter. It does. Look, you should have said something. Everything is going to be all right. I'll cook tonight, you take it easy. Amy will be starving, you know what she's like. Still, at least she's eating, not on some stupid diet. 
Stephen, I need to talk to you. There is your cup of tea, just the way you like it. Now, there's some biscotti somewhere. I've been thinking, this is my fault. Of course it isn't. How could it be? Well, you seem to be coping, and I, and I assumed you were. I've been taking you for granted. I'm not going to anymore. I'm going to look after you, yeah? We should go away together. And not just for a weekend, for a week. Just the two of us. Prague, maybe. Venice. Hey, we can reconnect. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. You're right. I am having an affair. With Emma. <laughs> I didn't plan it. Neither of us did. It just happened. And it's wonderful. <laughs> I love her. There. <laughs> you wanted the truth. That's the truth. Dinner. Amy will be hungry even if we're not. By the way, when are you going to tell her and Marcus? I don't know. I hadn't thought. Of... You better start thinking if we're going to get divorced. I don't want to get a divorce. I don't want to leave you or the kids. Stephen, I know you're angry. Oh, you reckon? Look, I never meant to hurt you. What happened with me and Emma is so new. I mean, it's not like we've made plans. That's why I wanted to talk to you, to, to see if we could work something out. Like what? Best of both worlds? I do the housework, do the laundry, look after the family, while you swan off on a mini-break with your bit on the side. Would you be happy if I did that to you? No, of course not. I... I've never cheated on you. I know. When you had cancer, most blokes would have run a mile, at least been useless. I coped, supported you, held us together. And now you're better, it's all thanks, Steve, and I don't need you anymore, you can get lost. Look, I know you don't deserve this. And I'm sorry. But I cannot help the way I feel. No. You don't get to play happy families and have Emma. You choose right now, me or her. And if it's her, you pack your bags and get out. Him. I got stuck with a patient. Do you think I should go round there? Oh, no, no. He's going uh, straight to his nervous. Oh, I'll find him later then. Oh. Emma! Nina! What's the matter? <laughs> Stephen's thrown me out. I just don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Oh, Emma! It's all right. <laughs> Come on. 